Well, hello there. I didn't see you come in. Make yourself at home. Have a drink. While I give some attention to some underappreciated characters and storylines that I personally love. And I hope you grow to love as well. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Matt's Minis. Today, we're going through Saga of Swamp Thing number 28. And uh, first things first, we got Swamp Thing on the cover, and he is holding bones. The bones of a body, a human body. Don't know exactly who's a human body. The cover is by Stephen Bissett and Total Ben. But uh, this issue is the first one not drawn by them uh, of this run. It is drawn by Sean McManus. So that's something different. But it's still written by Alan Moore. So this one's called The Burial. And uh, we see on the first page here, Swamp Thing is digging a hole, a grave, something. We're not sure exactly. But it's called The Burial, so the grave, possibly. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, we just see he's digging, and then uh, he's asking himself, like, how deep, how deep does it have to be? The soil is wet, the digging difficult, and I have been digging for such a long time. And then uh, we cut to earlier today, and uh, in the swamp, of course, where he's all happy now, uh, he's talking to Abby Arcane, and uh, she's like, oh, look, it's Autumn, and, you know, it looks really nice, and she's talking to him, and she's like, Hey, I've never noticed that your like your your skin or your colors changing. He's like, "Yep, autumn, you know, seasons." Uh, I'm in touch with the seasons now because of like I've accepted my planthood, and uh, so yeah, I'm I'm changing colors uh, and whatnot. And then they're walking, and um, and this is where we get a little. Just, it's just a the tiniest bit of backstory on uh, what what happened last issue with Matt Cable and her. So he's like, so. Uh, how's it going with you, Abby? And she's like, oh, you know what? Not too bad. Like, surprisingly, uh, you know, all the, the Elysium Garden stuff with the school I'm working at's going good. Uh, they just kind of uh, brush that shit away. He's like, wait, so they, how did, how did they like make it normal or whatever? And she, he, she's like, oh, they just said it was like mass hysteria. And like, that's why the kids were freaking out and everything. And, you know, then everybody just fixed everything, and now I'm just teaching the special kids again. So, no big deal. And then, while she's talking, um, there you can see, like, in the background, like, a figure that's a, a ghostly white is coming towards them. But uh, they're still talking, and no one sees it. And she's uh, she starts, or he asks her about Matt, like, oh, how's Matt and you? And she's like, oh, you know what? He's, he's doing great. Like... He's really picked up. He doesn't have. He doesn't drink anymore. He doesn't sit around. Um, he's looking for a house for us. And then, and then the the creepy thing is, that she's like, "Hey, do you know when the flies are supposed to die off? Because there's a shit ton of flies in our house. And and I thought this time of year they're supposed to start dying off. And uh, that's a little little clue to whatever the fuck happened to Matt Cable last time. He in the last issue he got possessed by some kind of uh, or he got like propositioned by some kind of fly demon, um, that came into him. Um, and like, or basically propositioned him, Hey, uh, if you want to die, cause he got in a car accident, you can just die. Or if you want to live, just say yes. And, uh, he said, yes. So the fly went into his body and, uh, took him over, possessed him. And so, uh, he is a possessed person, but no one knows. So I guess, he, uh, he was a, f I don't know what the flies represent as far as if it's a demon or what it is, but, uh, I did read be uh, because this, uh, comicsology spoils it a bit. Uh, <laughs> they said like, oh, it's Anton Arcane. So, uh, or they said like, oh, and Anton Arcane comes back and I'm like, well, who the fuck was he? So I think, uh, of course, comicsology spoiled it for me, but the Anton Arcane, who is Abby's, uh, uncle, who was the main bad guy from the original series of Swamp Thing. Um, apparently he, you know, was in hell and he got out somehow and he is in this fly body. So now apparently he's taken over Matt Cable. Although I don't think we're supposed to know that yet, but comicsology spoiled it for us. So, um, but yeah, anyway, so she tells him that and they're like, oh, that's great. Everything's great. And then all of a sudden, while she's talking, Swamp Thing like looks over and he sees the ga the ghostly figure and, and he kind of zooms in on it. And what it is, is it's Alec Holland's ghost. So the person, Alec Holland, the human, 
the ghost of him is staring at Swamp Thing, and Swamp Thing looks very scared. And I should say, so up to this point, Total Ben and Bissette have been doing all the artwork, and it's always been like super horror-y and different panel layouts. And this one with Sean McManus is way more cartoony. Uh, Swamp Thing's face is way more animated than normal. Uh, his body and whatnot, just they, they look more cartoonish. So it's kind of interesting to see the different the different takes. But then, uh, yeah, so he, when he like sees the the ghost, it's like his face is like, Wah! like <laughs> way too scared or whatever. So, so but whatever, it's a taste thing. Uh, but yeah, so he uh, he starts freaking out and she's talking to him and he's like, he's she's like, did did you see something or and he's like don't keep calling me Alec. And she's like, I'm, I'm sorry. And he's like, I'm not Alec Holland. Alec Holland is dead. And then he walks off. And then we cut back to the original scene where he was digging a grave. So we see mud being thrown down. And, uh, and basically he's looking for his body. That's what he's been. That's what he's digging for. He's like, where are you? You know, I know you're here somewhere. Uh, and I guess he, Followed that ghost uh, to a point, um, and it led him back all the way to where his shack used to be. the The original shack where his body blew up as Alec Holland uh, and his wife Linda was killed. So um, this is kind of a setup issue or an issue that um, is about what, like giving the reader like a little bit of history on Alec Holland in case. Uh, you didn't know, uh, and you're like a new reader reading this Alan Moore run. So, but we get like uh, once he comes back to the the um, the barn where they had their science uh, lab and everything, um, the ghost disappears, and then he goes inside and he starts remembering stuff that happened. So, one thing I like about this is it's not it's not every other time they've they've redone the the origin, they've just used panels from Bernie Wrightson's art. And then just throwing it in there and had someone talking. And that's kind of lame. But in this, they throw in like extra scenes with Alec and Linda, his wife, where like they're going to bed and he's, you know, talking to her and she's talking to him. So you get a little bit of how their marriage is and how much they love each other and all that stuff. Uh, and then like possibly, I think this is supposed to be the night before they, you know, got killed. Um, but basically they, they make love and then uh, he's remembering that and then... Um, you know, he's like, home is where the heart is, where we lived, me and Linda, where we died. And then he begins to remember like the, the day, uh, he died. So in that, uh, we see like McManus actually drew the, the panels of like Ferret and, uh, Bruno, the, the, the toughs for the Sunderland Corp that came to, uh, persuade, uh, Alec Holland to give him the bio-restorative formula. And Alec fights, and of course they knock him out. But in this one, he redraws the panels because uh, basically he makes Swamp Thing, or his Swamp Thing, like a ghost in this scene. So uh, we see, you know, Swamp Thing's like, no, uh, stop, uh, Holland, wake, or Holland, wake up. Uh, you must wake up. Wake up, and it will all turn differently. Please, Holland. And uh, he's trying to wake himself up after he gets knocked out. And then we see, you know, they place a bomb underneath and then Holland wakes up and then he tries to defuse it and then it blows up. So we get to see like how he became Swamp Thing again. But the cool thing about this, like the different thing is it's not there just to retell it. Obviously, that's why it's, it's part of the reason why this whole thing is happening. But um, this, ep this issue is about giving closure to Swamp Thing, right? So, um, so now that he's not Alec Holland anymore, he's still kind of haunted by Alec's memories and all that stuff. So, uh, he, you know, they show where the, where the flaming Alec Holland after the explosion runs out and jumps into the swamp. So he knows, okay, there's where the body should be. So then we cut back to him digging and he's like, there, all done. Uh, you know, the, this is where the body will be. Now I got to find it. So, um, he waits, it says, and like this swamp thing figure comes out of the swamp. So right where the Alec Holland's body came in to the swamp on fire from that same spot, a swamp thing emerges, but it's a different color swamp thing. It looks more like the Bernie Wrights in one. Um, so it's got a little bit more muscle and, uh, more like vines and stuff around it. Um, 
and then uh, like a cleaner look. He's not so mossy. And then uh, it comes out and it like tries to touch the real Swamp Thing. And he's like, what? What's going on? You know? And then he's like, can you see me? Hear me? And the thing just like uh, tells him shush. Like it to, brings it to his, his lips, his finger. And then, the, and then with his finger points into the spot where he came from. So basically Swamp Thing's just having visions of, you know, how he became Swamp Thing. And then... Now he's got a, even though he kind of knew where he died. Okay. Well, it must be there. It must be where Swamp Thing just came out. So, uh, he goes into the, into the swamp where the Swamp Thing pointed and he's looking and he's like, you know, this is where, uh, the mind vanished, the flesh vanished, uh, creating a new organism, creating me. Uh, but the bones, they remained. And so he's like digging in the silt on the, in the ground, of the, or on the uh, the bottom of the swamp, and he finds Alec Holland's bones, and so he's like down here in the cold all those years. You must have been lonely. Come, I have prepared a place for you, and so uh, he says, "Let's hope that it is deep enough." So it's kind of like a metaphor, like uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you a, a like I'm burying the past, but I'm also Gonna, let's hope it's deep enough to stay buried kind of thing like not come up again uh in my mind and also in reality <laughs> and so he uh buries the bones and uh puts a marker on it that's like a root uh, from his own body so he knows where it is and um he says uh, he's there i know that he is there and i know that he is smiling but i don't look back and so uh he walks away uh, as, 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 and as he's walking away, we see there's like a smiling ghost of Alec Holland. So he has finally been put to rest. Um, and hopefully these memories will not haunt Swamp Thing anymore is kind of what we're, we're alluding to. He's putting the past behind him. He's putting Alec Holland's body behind him. Um, so yeah, uh, that's the issue pretty quick. Uh, but like a really, like if you're going to retell the, the origin story, this was like a very good way to do it, especially since it wraps up like him officially letting go of the past, all, all of it. While he had said like, I'm not Alec Holland anymore. He still like feels like Alec Holland sometimes. So <laughs> this was him like fully letting go of his humanness, I think. And, uh, coming into his swamp self. So um, yeah, uh, if you guys have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can email me at playing trains and comic books, all one word at gmail.com. And until next time, stay swampy.